you, Dr. Michelle Friedman, <laughs> who remains available to our alumni and to our students, who brings perspective in moments of doubt, and whose creativity and compassion are in the DNA of YCT. Sharing a trip to Israel in March with you and Ben, and seeing the way in which you embraced people under the most difficult of circumstances, walking along with Rabbi Aaron, who's in the room, and you and others, through Kibbutz Cholit, seeing, feeling, maybe not fully understanding what happened there, simply concretized something that I already knew, that you are our Rebbe in mitzvot sheben adam l'chaveiro. We say ashrei, the, from Psalms 145 to Hillam 145 many times a week. I ask you to think now about line 18, where for the first time in this Perak to Hillam, we see an adverb modifying the call to God. Karov Hashem l'chol karov l'chol asher yikra'uhu be'emet. God is near to all who call him, to all who call him with sincerity. What does be'emet, sincerity, mean here? How are we to evaluate, who are we to evaluate whether a call to God is truthful or sincere? And especially, as been mentioned a number of times tonight, in these contentious times, how do we evaluate and respond to cries that might be dissonant, cries that strike us painfully so different from what we hold, so might, we might hold so dear? Maybe the answer is found in the adverbs in the next two lines, which I'll read in English. He, God, he, God fulfills the wishes of those who fear him. He hears the, their cry and delivers them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. Fear, yira, which is also awe, and love, hard feelings that you have explored in your years at YCT. And we have encouraged you to look deep within. And at this point, I want to acknowledge somebody who has helped you look deeply into yourself, Dr. Seth Aronson. Your process group facilitator for four years, once a week, in full confidentiality, and process group leader for many generations before. So may you be blessed with continued patience and love to find the truth in all the cries that you hear and to respond with active, non judgmental compassion. <laughs>